All right, we're out today going up to Finger of Fate. We're at the trailhead now. We had to park a couple miles back. The uh, road is a little, little treacherous a little for the little car, little but uh, we made it. And I think it's, I don't know, maybe a few more miles in. Yeah, I think three times. And here's the map. We've got Christopher over here, oh, hello. AKA Ramen Bowman. He's got his <laughs> top ramen pants and I think he's got a shirt underneath too. You'll see those. <laughs> And uh, we are right there, Hell Roaring Creek. Started right back here. And we're gonna go up, and there is our destination. This is my first trip ever in to do the Finger of Fate. Um, Christopher's done it before, but we had a nice earthquake back in March. Mm -hmm. It was a 5.6, 6, mm -hmm. excuse me. 5.6. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I guess the summit block, so the, the, the ending of the route fell off. And we've seen some pictures, but we don't really have any intel. And I haven't uh, heard of anybody climbing yet since then. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of an investigation and and a little more of an adventure as we get to explore the new version. Hopefully, we don't see another aftershock. It seems like I've been seeing aftershocks in the news like every couple weeks since then. So if one of those happens today. Just hope it's while we're walking, not climbing. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Hell Roaring Lake. Only about, I think about 1,500 feet of gain left and just got our first look from up close. Here she is. Here's the finger of fate right, oh, right there. Let's see if it'll expose better. Here we go. And I guess the route that we're doing is actually on the backside. So we've got to kind of climb up this, through that saddle, just over to the side of it and drop or wrap around the base, so. Almost there. There it is. There's Ramen Bowman. Final approach, we are at the base. Well, just about. Here it is. Boom. Yeah. There's our route right there. Who's up through there? Over to the right. Up to the top. All right, so we're making the final approach up to the base. And it's pretty wild. It looks like a lot of this rock um, down here is fresh fallout from the uh, earthquake. This, this winter you can see just like a lot of dirt and light rock and rocks that look like they've been recently split so they must have come tumbling down from up there during the earthquake we're curious to see where the uh some block went um because we know from pictures that it fell but hard to tell which direction from this angle so we'll see from up top but let's pray for uh no earthquake while we're here all right we're at the base all set up, rope out, and Chris is all racked up. Mm -hmm. the sure am. Shoe transition, and sure am. we are gonna jump on. He's gonna be leading the whole way, since he is the expert between the two of us. Expert, and yeah. between the two of us, <laughs> gotta put it in context. Um, and we've got four pitches. Uh, yeah, the, the new oh. finger of fate is now four pitches. The new version. So here we go. The belay on. Belay is on. Okay. Climbing. Sure am. <sighs> 
first system. pitch complete. Sure is. This is where we came from. And there's where we're going. Nice bit of nice bit of crack climbing and stemming yeah. ahead. section unprotected yeah <clears throat> yeah no thanks <laughs> yeah no thanks <laughs> no thanks he says <laughs> yeah from Gee, that man, man. nice work <laughs> thanks dude that's thanks. a tough pitch dude that was i'm glad i didn't try to uh link him set up a nice little table here eating a little snack some gummy bears and there it is nice crack that's the next pitch. Right up through there. Rock is falling out. Yep. You're also more than welcome oh, to that jump out. Yeah. So where does the next pitch go? Um, it's over here on our right. You can kind of see where the crack's cleaned up. It's just like flake that traverses right. Right here? Yeah. And then left? Uh, no, it goes right into the horizon. Around? Correct. Pitch number three is done, and we finally have a bit of exposure. Probably like what, 350, 400 up? Yeah, about. There's a point where it's just like it's a lot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a lot. Three, That's where we came from. <sighs> One more. Yeah, and then just up until you find a good, comfortable stance. Um, that's old, but it's like, that all shook away. yeah, it fell off. And if you look way up higher, you can see there's like a chunk missing out up there. So that's cool. And there used to be a rock in here, and you can see it's gone. So that's cool. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> Yay. We're climbing. Bow. 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 All right, the fourth and final pitch. Whew. Exposure. Yeah, dude. It's so badass. <laughs> Damn. That, to me, is the scariest part of this whole climb, is that section right there. Oh, hey, man! Wow. Here's a dub. That was wild. Alright, made it to the top. My first ever uh, oh. technical climb in the Sawtooth. And... It had me pretty amped up on that last, uh, <laughs> that last, the last pitch. Pretty exposed, but we made it. It's pretty crazy. Right here is where the old summit block was sitting, and I guess um, it was like 15 feet high or so, and it just tipped right off in March um, from the earthquake. So there's a lot of other rock fall down below us, and just kind of uh, sketchy stuff. But Christopher led the way, and carried me through <laughs> <laughs> oh man it, it's still burly i thought it would be easier i had done it before it wasn't easy but it was it was still pretty burly I swear. So. <laughs> <sighs> my hands have seen better days oh, yeah. right there 
actually very few battle wounds. Yeah, good for you. All right, on the rappel down. We are packing out. Sun is set. It's about dark and it's a great day. No major hiccups. And we both left all of our fingers. So now we've got about another six miles to hike out. Well, hey man.